Welcome back to Old Volks TV. We're hanging out in the garage today. Super freaking hot outside again, but not a whole lot else going on. Uh, so, time to get back on this little motor. Uh, you might remember this little motor. This is our 1641. Uh, we did a breakdown of the tins. We did a little bit of mock-up on it. We kind of threw on some ideas of how we want to build it. Uh, this is our build it from face-to-face -face contact motor. So I'm trying not to get anything off the internet for this. Uh, everything will be purchased either in a store or from somebody at a swap meet or, or whatever. Uh, so that's this little guy. Today we're going to pop this head off. Uh, we had some trouble during the initial inspection and uh, we started kind of cleaning the case, just checking it out. And we found that there's some JB Weld holding the spark plug on, uh, which is a little suspect to me. So I'm going to pull the head. I'll show you guys how to do that. It's pretty easy. It doesn't take very long. And uh, we'll check out the inside. I always like to pull the heads off of these used motors anyway so uh, we're gonna do this but at least now we have a good reason to pull it off and uh, we're gonna replace these pushrod tubes also so let's go So really taking the head off is not that scary. It's pretty easy. You got four bolts inside, four bolts up on top, and then the two on the rocker assembly. So <clears throat> the way to do this is you start the rocker. <clears throat> Those are usually a little bit tight. I like to do everything by hand. I don't use uh, an impact or air tools or anything on the motors when I'm working on them. Uh, I just like the feel of doing it by hand and knowing that it's not overly tight uh, or over torqued. So don't lose these little washers. Oh, uh, I know where it is. I didn't lose it. I put everything in the valve cover for now. Um, just because I know this rocker is going back on this head when it comes off. And just pull that off right there. And then the uh, push rod tubes, or push rods rather. Um, I like to keep them in order and in the same direction as when I take them out. I've heard that it doesn't matter. I've heard that it does matter. There's an inside and an outside for sure, but... I just like to put them in the way they came out and then there's no question. So one, two, three, four, just like that. And when you take these off, you wanna do it like you're taking off a wheel or putting on a wheel. Kinda of go around. Putting them on, there's an order and it's in the the mirror manual will tell you what the order is, the best way to put those together. <clears throat> as far as the, the order you tighten them down, you want to tighten them down evenly uh, so you don't get one side sort of in a pinch. And then once you get them all loose, then it doesn't matter. Make sure Got them all. Oh, that's one's tight. So you want this head to come off sort of evenly if you can. Uh, it surprisingly makes a big difference in uh, getting the head off if it releases evenly. It doesn't have any kind of a twist to it. And then these washers. Don't lose these. They're really important. These thick washers. They, uh, Spread the load a little bit better when you're tightening down the heads. And they also take up just enough room. You don't want to put just a regular washer in there. It's better you put all the correct. So if you take eight off, you need to put eight back on. And if you take seven off, you need to put eight back on. So you should probably go find one. I don't even know where you can get them. Go. 
five, six, seven, eight. So I've not had this head off yet. Uh, this is as further than I've gone on this motor, so we'll see how easy it comes off. Sometimes they're, ooh, it's loose. Sometimes they're a pain in the butt to get off. Oh, we got lucky. Oh, we got real lucky. I swear, no TV trickery. That's actually how easy that one came off. I don't think I've ever had one come off that easy before. So it looks pretty good. This side, uh, number four is definitely drier than number three. And I see a little bit of oil back here in the cylinder on the bottom, but that just could be from sitting and and not uh, you know, not being run. So the push rod tubes just pop right out. There's a seal right here these little seals uh, these look like they're not in too bad a shape I may reuse them they're not cracked yeah these look like they might be okay so we'll get them cleaned up these push rods tubes are they're not in terrible shape um, but I got the new set so we're gonna put new ones in And I'm only going to reuse these for the sake of bolting it back together. Um, I do have a new kit that has all the new gaskets on it, but I'm not going to use these heads. Most likely I'm going to switch to a clean, newer set that I have. So we'll get it bolted together for you guys so you can see, you know, how it's done and, and what the torque specs and everything are. Um, but we just really mainly wanted to get in here and check. Check the heads to make sure they're not cracked. Like this fin. It's like a weird casting on the surface there. A little bit of rust is okay because these are uncoated and they get hot and cold and hot and cold. And the other thing you want to make sure that's in there is this right here. Oh, there was even washers and stuff in there. This tin is the life of your motor. And you put the heads back on you definitely want to make sure that that's in there and you can see probably but right here and right here are for the studs and it sort of pops in and it directs the air around the pistons and around the cylinders uh, to help keep the air moving around the whole thing and they go in just like that and it'll snap on to do it again but you really want to make sure <clears throat> that you get at least in here where the push rod tubes go cleaned out i don't put the pick in there usually you don't need to um, but this is a sealing surface so you don't want to uh, scratch it up or anything uh, so that's important you can see the difference between a new one and an old crusty one. They don't have holes in them, the old ones, so you know I'll keep them just in case you get one that gets bent or gets a leak in it. You can always stick one back in there. Um, these are the ace, these are the symmetrical ones. There's also some that have a different size on each side uh, that you can use. It has something to do with windage and getting the oil where it needs to go or something uh, of that nature. But I take a couple of pairs of vice grips and I just grab them on this lip. You have to get kind of a tight grip on there. And you can always bend this back. These are going to get bent out of shape a little bit from this. Um, but you can always bend them back so it's alright. And what you do, if you can see that, because of the accordion shape you can pull them and wiggle them you can stretch this out just try not to tear that little loop at the end here see the difference there after stretching and you do that to both sides 
And what that lets you do, you put, put your gasket on there. And when you shove that in, you know, back in this little hole, and you put this other side inside the case, and you bolt it down and you actually tighten it down, it's going to shrink that metal back. So it's only going to tighten it until it's snug in there. And this won't shrink anymore, and that's the way you keep them from really leaking. So if you don't do that, when you get them and they're compressed and you just shove them in there and bolt it down, this is going to be all loose in that hole and it's going to leak. You want to make it not leak. That's important. So we're going to do that with our new push rod tubes and then we'll put our push rods back in and we'll bolt our head down to uh, the correct torque. And then... Uh, and that'll be it for this side and then you know obviously we'll do the other side but i won't make you sit through it again all right so now we got this thing back together uh gently some of the little tricks i use i guess didn't show up on camera but you get the push rod tubes in there lightly and you kind of push the head on by hand and you can throw the push rod in there to hold the tube kind of in place and then you put a nut on without a washer kind of in these four spots and you can sort of crank them down a little bit just to sort of pull the head on uh, just enough to get some threads on these other ones and then you can take that nut off and then add the washer behind it as you go so right now we're just snugging them up and uh you know you kind of jump around like like a wheel like i said earlier to pull them evenly Got all kinds of critters flying around in here because of these lights so i've got eight big washers on there i've got eight nuts on there and they're all starting to get nice and snug Like that. Don't miss any. Just snug, not tight. Just make sure they're all to a point where they're just starting to get just hand tight, not even any pressure really, because they really don't take that much torque to set them. I'll tell you right now what the torque is going to be. So you, you first start them at seven pounds and then uh, I have the 10 millimeter studs in here so I'm going to finish up at 23 foot pounds. Um, and to do that you want to use your magical mystical torque wrench which I keep in a a case because they're very expensive and you do have to get these calibrated uh, once in a while once a year or so if you use them a lot and you always want to loosen this tension up all the way when you're storing them see how that's loose so there's no tension on the bar inside um, the little finger nut down here at the bottom that locks it so you basically just turn this little dial and then we're right at zero now we're at seven and we lock her in there we go and you can almost hear that click It's a good idea to give it a couple clicks. Just to make sure that you're in the right spot. Click, click. Uh, so, I'm going to move. 
move this up to 23 we lock our little locking nut here and this is our final torque spec back on make sure that you got the little cuppy side down and that goes on the uh, push rods here I backed off the valves or the valves the adjustment all the way so that I don't have to fight the springs when I put these on we're gonna do a valve adjustment anyway so Just push this in there make sure but those are all in their little cups. And that goes on like that. There's those washers that we said we weren't going to lose. Ooh, that's not even the right one. It's down there on the floor still. Put the washers on. Put the nuts on. Switch back to our 13. These, these are like 10 pounds, but my uh, impact or my torque wrench is not that accurate, I guess, that low. So we're gonna go with snug. Over tight, and you're gonna strip that thing out. Too loose, your rocker's gonna fall off. So, you know, do it, do it to torque spec, but uh, this head's coming off anyway, so who cares? Pretend like I used that. There you go. Uh, valve cover gasket, you want to put a new one of those on too. I'm using different valve covers on this motor, so make sure there's no crickets inside your motor when you put it together too. I'll just put it together with this crusty one because I don't want to waste one. Once you put them on once, that's it for them. Uh, so that would go on there. And then... Snap the bail on, and you're done. Easy money. Then uh, we would pull the spark plugs out, obviously replace those spark plugs, give everything another good wipe down with some acetone, you know, clean the, the areas here, and, and that's it, man. That's changing a head, piece of cake. All right, there we have it, guys. Pulled the head, inspected it, put it back on. Really not that scary. Wasn't hard at all. Didn't take any special tools other than that uh, torque wrench, which you can get over at Harbor Freight. Uh, they're not too expensive. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. Um, you don't really need the tight specs on these motors as, uh, you know, some of the high-end supercars. Um, you can usually get by with, with that one. So, easy money. Um, next, further off, I'll probably take this head off and uh, just double check and clean it so we can move forward. We get the clutch and the flywheel off. We'll check the end play on this motor. Uh, make sure that that's good to go. We'll show you how to make sure the shims are good and everything is right so that you don't beat the motor up. Uh, we'll start putting everything back on it. We're gonna get it all cleaned up and painted. So I look forward to uh, finishing that one off. That's gonna be great. And then eventually getting it in the car. Uh, so that was great. If you like what you saw, subscribe, hit that little bell icon, get the notifications. Uh, we got tons of videos coming out. We got a bunch of videos already posted up there you can check out. You can take the day off of work and just spend the whole day watching our videos. And when you get done, you go check out VW Life on YouTube. Those guys are doing great things. Uh, they're funny, they're informative. They got all kinds of great stuff going on. Right now they're building a car to give away at the Harvest Show, uh, which is only 12 weeks away from right now, the day that I'm filming this. 12 weeks away. And you can win that car for like 10 bucks. One $10 ticket could win that car. I've seen it happen. Every year they give away a car that they've restored. You can watch them do the restoration right now and, uh, on the VW Life on the YouTube. Great stuff, so go check them out. Check us out at Volks America Magazine, uh, VolksAmerica.com. We got the uh, Volks America coming out. We've got Volks Mania coming out pretty soon. Uh, the issue number one, which is a fantastic issue. 
Uh, it's full color, excellent, high quality magazine. And that one's free, just pay shipping. Can't beat that, for real. So VolksAmerica.com, subscribe to that. We got our YouTube channel, Volks America YouTube. Uh, I'll leave the links for all that stuff down in the, the comments down below or in the uh, whatever you call that thing down there. Um, the link in the bio, whatever. <laughs> so check us out, subscribe, share the pages, check out our friends' pages, everything. Do it. Thanks for watching.